Quite the opposite. She breathes her spirit into his spirit. Praise trees, cheese, great. We can see everything in sight, meal after meal after meal. But he can't shake his hunger. Make shrimp and fresh salami and ice cream 
delivering donuts, everything in every possible combination. Even as he is eating, he is planning other menus and complaining of his hunger. As the ocean ingests the water from the river of the world and remains thirsty and goes warm and warm forever, but still is never full, so he calls out for more. His gorging empties the larder houses and barns and warehouses of the city. His hunger is unabated. What is left to sell? Mother! My son! <laughs> now this part is true, though you may not believe it. His hunger led him to sell his poor darling mother. She not look very strong. She is! She is! Had her forever. <laughs> well, I can't tell you very much. Just get it! To end it! Just get it to me! Alright. With a few coins he received, he ran back home to eat. But riding in a boat behind her new master, Eris Sikthun's mother leaned over the hull and prayed to someone she once knew. Poseidon, if you remember me, come and save me now. From the briny deep, Poseidon heard her prayer, pulled her into the water, and changed her back into the little girl he used to run by his shores. When the salty water licked the ears away, she emerged, the one who gave him praise in childhood. This is a kind of sweet, unbidden praise. The gods adore and do not forget. Hey, hey, you little girl, where'd the woman go? Did she jump off the boat and finish it? Thank you.